Starting in early 2023, the MPDX team has been working to refresh the screens in MPDX. As we've worked, we've created instructional videos and written help documentation to explain the changes and help you as you use MPDX. In this video, we will show you the refreshed screens and where to go to watch the MPDX training videos that best suit your MPDX how-to needs. If you have already marked yourself as an early adopter in your MPDX settings, you've been using these screens for a while. You can see a side-by-side -side comparison of the old and refreshed screens by referencing the help article, A Comparison, Old Screens, Refresh Screens. This article can be found using the help beacon. When you used the old screens, your dashboard, contacts, and tasks tabs looked like this. Now that you use the refreshed screens, your dashboard, contacts, and tasks tabs look like this. The refreshed screens first became available in March of 2023, but to see the changes, you needed to update your MPDX settings. Now that we've fully updated the existing MPDX screens, everyone will use the refresh screens. The dashboard is similar to what it was before, but with a simplified, cleaner screen and some added graphics. The contacts tab has also been simplified. There is more white space, you can hide and unhide the filters menu to see the most used filters, and use infinite scroll to see your contacts instead of tabbing through multiple pages. Use the boxes beside the names to select one contact or select all by clicking the top box. We've also made it easier to view your contacts location by adding a map view. This option will plot the contacts you've selected on a map so that you can see their location. When you view a contacts page or a specific contacts information, you'll see the exact same information as before, but reorganized into five tabs instead of seven. The tabs are named Tasks, Donations, Connections, formerly called Referrals, Contact Details, and Notes. The Contact Details tab is where you can see and update information like a person's email, phone number, address, etc. On the Tasks tab, like the Contacts tab, you can infinite scroll through your tasks and hide and unhide the filters. At the top of the Tasks tab, you'll see a bar that helps you quickly filter to see all tasks, overdue, completed, today, upcoming, or no due date tasks. You may notice that the task names look different. To help you think through your to-dos, the MPD team came up with five phases of MPD that tasks fall into. These are connections, initiation, appointments, follow-up, and partner care. The phases of MPD guide the task creation process, so we've modified how tasks work to reflect this reality. As we migrated your data to the new concept of phases, we had to categorize your historical tasks into phases. In most cases, we put the tasks into initiation. However, partner care could also have been valid. If you need help understanding the changes as you adapt to the refreshed screens, you can use the help beacon in MPDX. When you search for training videos, you will see the MPDX refresh training videos option. This article contains embedded links to training videos for the refreshed screens. To learn more about tasks and phases, watch our video, MPDX Refresh, Tackling Tasks with Phases. The other tabs, Reports, Tools, Coaching, the Settings menu, have been refreshed also, but only in appearance. They will function the same as they did previously. You can find additional MPDX training videos by going to YouTube, visiting the Crew Digital Products channel, and searching the playlists for MPDX. We hope this video has increased your understanding of the refreshed screens. Thank you for watching.